Hey everybody, I just wanted to make a very short video showing you guys a free project that I'm releasing to the community. It is a very simple procedural building generator. And this is based on Chris Murphy's uh, building interiors material. Chris Murphy, if you guys don't know, is uh, an evangelist for the Unreal Engine 4. I believe he's based in Australia. You can see here, he recently posted on Twitter a material very similar to the latest Spider-Man game where um, the material fakes interiors and you can even have some parallax uh, movement as you move around. You can actually see inside the, uh, the building and you can see a video here as uh, he's uh, scaling. This is just a simple cube. He's basically scaling a cube and the material automatically scales the number of windows based on width, height and depth. Um, so he did share this. I'm going to put a link to this Twitter thread towards the end right here. He actually has a link uh, right here to the project. So what I did is I looked at it and decided to create a very simple uh, blueprint to go with that material. And this is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. So here's the project. When you open, you're going to be looking at the demo map. And uh, if you go under building demo blueprints, You'll see that I have a, a base blueprint here and then a, a, a few children with specific settings. Uh, and this is very simple, right? Uh, it, this is just a blueprint that is scaling the cube at specific intervals based on depth, width, and the number of floors. So right now, um, if I wanted to make this building, let's say two by two, I simply enter the, the depth and the width and you can see that we have two by two. I'm assuming these are apartments. Each apartment has two windows. That's how I defined it. So two apartments deep, two apartments wide and 13 floors. You can make it whatever you want. Two by two by two. We create a little small building, 10 floors, 20 floors, 50 floors, whatever you want. Uh, it is as simple as that. Um, and you can make the width, whatever you want as well. You can see here. And it's all thanks to that amazing material that Chris shared. So all the credit goes to Chris for sharing this with the community. All I did was just put it in a very simple blueprint uh, in a format that I would personally use it in my game, for example, or in my projects um, as a way to specifically scale the, um, the cube in specific increments. I also for fun made a random section here and you can define ranges. The X is the min and the Y is the max. So I press random size and I'm gonna step away here. And as I keep pressing random size, you see that the building is just randomized. Uh, and it's using these parameters here. It's basically getting a random depth value between two and six, width value between two and six, and floor range, right? That's how many floors between two and 20. So you could make this range, whatever you want, 20, between 20 and 100. And you can see that now the random numbers are, uh, as far as the height of the building, much, much bigger. As you can see here. You can also enable this little option here, random on move. And what that does is uh, basically it, it, ran, it runs this function on the construction script. So as you're moving around, you can see that the building changes sizes. So why would you want to do that? Well, if you want to quickly create your city, you can just drag a few blueprints like this, and then you can select them all and you can copy them. And you can see that as I'm moving them, they are changing sizes. And then I'm going to duplicate them and duplicate them and duplicate them. And you get the point and you get random buildings at uh, random sizes based on your parameters. So this is just for me to show you guys. When you guys open the project, this is what you'll see. I am including uh, some of these uh, child blueprints, which basically have a set depth and width with a randomized value for floors. Um, you don't have to use it like that, but it's just there for your convenience. And just to show you guys, if I just hit play here, for example, I added a few cool controls for the character. So it kind of flies over a little bit. If you press the jump button while you're in the air, it'll just propel you forward. And if you press shift, uh, it'll actually uh, fly you in the direction you're looking. Um, so it gives you a nice little ability to kind of fly around your city as well. 
I just did it for fun, as you can see here. And you can see the quality of the materials is pretty awesome. So last thing I want to show you guys so you can see kind of the potential. This is what you're getting. But I've also been working on a project for a procedural CD generator. So I'm going to pull that up. This is what I used for testing. And what you see here is basically a layout of a city. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to spawn the same blueprint that you guys saw. Uh, so it actually looks like a city and you guys can get a much better idea of uh, what it would look like once you actually take the time to lay out your city. All right. Keep in mind, these are specific meshes. These are uh, static meshes. So these are not hierarchical links and static meshes. These are single meshes. And you can see here that we have a lot of buildings and our frame rate is pretty much at almost 120 frames per second. And this is because they're just simple cubes. Simple cubes that can that can give you just by that randomness can give you a nice little cityscape, so you guys can see here. So that's pretty much it. Uh, again, all the credit goes to Chris from Epic Games for the material. All I did was create the little blueprint. Um, so please do uh, follow him on Twitter if you have Twitter, and thank him for it. And um, the project is. Um, uh, on a forum thread that I'm going to create and you can see the link in the description below you can download this project which has the uh, blueprint for the building and you can use it for whatever you want that's it thank you guys so much let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you in the next video